the spooky month is upon us. Therefore, we're gonna be playing a horror game called Tall Poppy. From what I've seen, it's a horrific horror game. Maybe one of the worst that I've seen around. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Tall Poppy, enjoy. Oh? You have one voicemail message. Hey honey, I forgot my purse in the graveyard today. Do you mind if you stop by after work and pick it up for me? Okay, thanks. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so... That was answering my first question. What do we do when on a parking, lo parking lot in front of a church? And why did my girlfriend forget her purse in a graveyard? Um. So, let's see. It looks like we have a flashlight. And this is our beautiful car. Is that a Toyota? I think it is, right? Damn, look at the... <laughs> look, look at the work. Look at the work on that one. I like it. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, so I saw that gate and I thought maybe we can go in there. But that's the graveyard. I don't really want to go there. I mean, uh, let's do it. She told us to go to the graveyard, didn't she? So apparently there is... This is a haunted church, and we, uh, well, I thought we were investigating, but it seems like we're gonna try to find our girlfriend's purse, so I don't know. Looks like you need a key. Okay. There we go, then. That, uh, fixed that for us. That fixed our- no, wait, there's another door. So maybe we should go there before we go into the church, then. Let's check this out. So what house is this? Would this be the house where the priest lives? I know we have, at least in my town, we do have a church. And then behind that we have the, it's like priest house. Where the priest lives, or at least lived what I know. Okay. That's, oh, Jesus Christ, that swung open. <laughs> okay. This doesn't look too, too nice. It looks like an apartment building, doesn't it? So, are we in here? We, yeah, we're in here looking for the key. Jesus. We're just gonna burst into people's apartments? I think it... Yeah, it looks like it, right? We're gonna go... <laughs> Where was I? We're, we're gonna go through everything that we can go through to see. It's like, just just be very thorough so we don't miss anything. Ooh, went out. Sister Alice Clark. I think that boy they called Poppy ain't right. He's always playing stupid pranks on the other gravediggers. He even tries to pull pranks on grieving people while they are trying to make peace with their loved ones. That's, that's that sounds horrible. It's disturbing. Yeah, it, yeah. I can't tell if it's his way of showing sympathy or if he's just plain stupid. Carl said he might quit if he keeps it up. We can't let that happen. He's our main grave digger. Factor in that Frank leaving already and Jack calls in sick too much to be reliable. Also, he somehow managed to find his way down to the crypts. That is strictly off limits for him and any other staff in this church. You know what's down there. I shouldn't have to remind you. It is forbidden for anyone that has not done the ritual to go wandering there. We had a possessive presence that has been dormant only because the spirit kept the spirit at bay. It's been nine years since we had any trouble with the poltergeist. I'd like to keep it that way. Poppy must be gone by the end of the week. Try to let him off easy. He seems like a loose cannon, so make sure Carl is, uh, is there with you when you fire him. Sincerely, Father O'Malley. Okay. So, what I could get from that, it seems like we are gonna end up in a crypt. That's what it feels like, and with that, probably... Probably gonna unleash a demon. I don't know, I don't like this. I'm trying to keep a positive vibe here. Okay, nothing else in here. Anything under the bed? No, I think we're good to go. We got a little bit of information though, so let's uh, keep on going. Nothing creepy so far. This door seems to be unlocked. Okay. Let's continue then. This too. This as well. Oh, that that scares me every, di <laughs> every time, man. That goes way too quick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Wait, what? What's happening? Is there something in there? So are we getting? What is that? Okay, we got a knife. I guess we can't pick anything up, can we? Alright, let's check this door. Jesus, okay. It's too quiet and I'm on edge. Oh, okay, let's... Okay, okay, let's, <laughs> let's get out of here. We didn't find anything in this one though, but there was something in here. Maybe we can feel the presence, I don't know. Locked? Okay, so where's this is going up? So wait, was there another level to this from the outside? Oh, yeah, there was right. Oh My god more apartments Hello anyone here You know what I'm not gonna continue opening all of these <laughs> It's way too much work. We got another note None with hairy legs. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, none with hairy legs. Harry, that that's that's an that's a name. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the painting. Hey, nun. Hope you had a good day, nunning it up. What do nuns do, anyways? I imagine you guys just hang out around the taber ta tabernacle. I I don't know what. Yeah, gossiping about each other in super secret hushed tones. Do you guys all actually like each other? I heard some spicy stuff coming from Ruth Mouse, oh Mouth, <laughs> the other day. And let, and let me tell you, I think she's gonna need to hit up that confession booth by the end of this week. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, it's from, yeah, it's from Tall Poppy. That's what I thought. How many, how many our fathers does it take to absolve your hairy legs from existence? Yo, okay. I would imagine you would need at least 25 hour fathers an hour. Do you guys get paid in prayers? If it was to work for the priesthood, I would be entry level. So I think I would make at the very least 12 hour fathers an hour. Is there a union? Where can I sign up? Hey, by the way, I noticed you were... Uh, Bogarting? Bogarting? I noticed you are bog bogarting those Christian crackers. <laughs> and eat them as a snack in the evenings. Wait, wait, okay, so I take that stealing, right? I don't think Mr. Priest would appreciate that. Can I have some? Yours forever and ever and ever, told Poppy. Okay, he seems very annoying. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Wait, was that a key? Was there something? Oh no, that's just uh, the note then, wasn't it? So far we have two notes, a little bit of information about Tall Poppy. And that was a note from him to the nun with the hairy legs. And I'm pretty sure that was uh, spelled the wrong way as, uh, as well, wasn't it? Okay, just one room here. Okay, we got something right there. Oh, that's a big-ass key. That's that's gonna be for the graveyard, right? Broom. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dude, what the hell? Oh my lord! I was about to fall off my chair right there. Did you guys see him? I I didn't see him. I heard him though. What is that all about? Well, okay. That came from nowhere. It's t way too quiet for this. So it seems like the activity just started. <laughs> I got some information about this game that I'm I'm kind of withholding at the moment. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna tell you. So, pretty much what this is, you might have seen it. If you pay, paid close attention at the main menu, it said something about Tall Poppy being a prankster in in life as in death. So, we are dealing with the ghost of Tall Poppy, what I know, who is a prankster. 
So he's pranking us while while we're investigating this. So that's pretty much it. So I kind of lied with the whole, you know, scariest game I've ever played part. <laughs> so let's get, go to the graveyard first, unlock that gate and see if we can find that back backpack. Backpack? No, it was just a, a handbag, wasn't it? Ooh. What is... What is that noise? It looks like you need a key. We did get the key, though. Maybe that's for the church, then. Also, yeah, I forgot. We, we're not investigating, are we? We're actually here just to get the bag. Okay. Are you guys ready? Let's open this up. This is a huge church. Look at that. Look at the statues. Wait, what is that? Is that a demon or is that devil? He got he got the horns. Yo, what's going on here? Oh, that's the Oh, what do you call those? Um in Swedish, we call it Oriel. I don't remember the uh, the name in English. Help me out with that, guys, down in the comments. I think that's what's playing right now, isn't it? Ah! Oh my god, why? What even was that? Oh! <laughs> that, okay, I didn't use the flashlights, I didn't see that. That popped out, didn't it? Oh, I missed that, didn't I? That was way more scarier without that little thing popping out, wasn't it? Oh, dude. Okay, let's see. Can we play this? No. Okay, we got another note. The visitor told Poppy, As you stand here at the podium, gathering here today, look around. Yes, look around, especially behind you. Behind me? If you're reading this, I will murder you. You will be dead by the end of the night. So we have a few options on the table for your death. Please choose the following below. Hanging? Eating some of these nuns cooking? Licked to death? I vouch for this one. Oh, it says tickled, not, not licked, alright. Stabbed relentlessly in the chest. Drowning? Heart attack? Acid reflux? Hemorrhoids popping, neck snap, listen, listening to counter music. Okay, listen. If you guys haven't heard Alan Jackson, that is bangers right there. Now that I think of it, it's like a choose your own adventure. If you let you choose your death, perhaps I should just do what I want. Surprises are always fun. Your murderer told Poppy. Okay. Ah, oh! You fell for the look behind me trick. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't fall for it. Poppy, you can't just assume. I didn't look behind me. I shat myself. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we got, we got a face to the ghost. I don't like this fella. I don't like him at all. Did we find anything out? We didn't get a key or anything, did we? He just baited us into that. Oh my god. Okay, so what is going on here? I don't trust this guy. At all. I don't like him. I don't like pranksters. What is that? What is that noise? File taxes. Live, laugh, no, live, love, laugh. Who clogged the toilet? Tammy, the whole punch is not a toy. Wait, punch? The whole pu punch? What is that? I'm lost. List? Paper? Hole punch? Oh, hole punch. It's one of those uh, that you put holes in paper with, right? Staples. All right. What does that say? Plunger. A plunger? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's, it's clogged, isn't it? All right, we don't have anything here. Whoa, oh! there we go. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Puffy. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
Christ. These jump scares are top notch, let me tell you. Jesus. What is that noise? Oh, he's just messing with us, dude. Come on. Two priests from Tall Poppy. Good morning, Father, for I have sinned. Or by the time you read this, I will be sinned. Is that a proper way to use the word sinned? Anyways, there is a visitor here tonight, and I plan to have a little fun with uh, with uh, the stranger, I guess. I th or the guest. I think it will. I think I will chase this visitor around and, with any luck, cause this person to have a heart attack. Well, so far, you, you're doing a really good job, aren't you? If they have a strong heart, or which I might rip out, I will play a little game of tag. We all know my touch kills. Mwa! Cough, cough, mwa! But seriously, Mr. Priest, I'm going to dismember this individual. I, it will be fun. Well, for me at least. Also, that nun you keep on eyeing has the hots for you. She wonders what your meat looks like. Her words, not mine. Well, I'm going to head off to do some murdering now. So yes, once again, by the time you read this, you may notice a dead body in your office fridge. Whoa. Are we gonna open that fridge? Don't freak out or anything. Oh, and hey, if you like, you can eat the body. Lots of good meat on this one. Don't let it go to waste. Yours forever, tall poppy. Soon to be dead. Wait, is that... I don't know if I have the balls to... Okay, let's do this. Let's... Okay, no, we're good. What is that voice, though? Is that... I was sure he was going to be behind me. Okay, let's check this before we check anything else. Tall poppy sightings. His face... Let's see, I don't see this. Let's go around. Tall poppy sightings. His face is under drawers. His face in my underwears. Wait, what? His face in my underwears? Am I reading that right? Roof's fridge. The bathroom. The crypts. Stan's car. Back seat. I'm coming for you. You me. So, okay. So, I'm getting... So, he's messing with us. I, I feel like it's kind of lighthearted. But now when I read this, like the... The notes from him, and also this, it's, uh, I don't know, man, should we be afraid? Okay, the fridge is here. This food ain't yours. <gasps> okay, what's going on? Wait, is he aggressive? What is that meter? What does it mean? I knew, I knew something would be in there. Let's check this again. Okay, yeah, he's not there no more, is he? Oh, this is giving me mixed feelings, this. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, what? He's throwing things now. Oh, my heart. This is... Jesus. He keeps on coming. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's... Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. He's trying to... He's trying to throw that at me, dude. What is going on? Is it in here as well? Oh, he's he's poltergeisting. There we go. We got the key. Is there any other rooms? No, no, no. Let's get out of here. Let's get down. Skadoodle. So I feel like uh, the doorways are not safe at all. Well, it feels like nothing is safe at all, does it? Oh my god! God! Oh, that's it, dude. That, that was... No wonder this church is empty, man. Oh my god. I don't know. Are we going down? <laughs> okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Let's do this. We're not, a, we're not afraid of him, right? I kind of, I kind of am though. He's gotten me every Cram. single. Oh, Jeez, oh, every time. Is the worst. 
Get back here. <laughs> no! Whoa! Jesus, dude. This is way scarier than I thought it would be. I, I thought I was joking around in the beginning, you know, saying this was the worst thing ever. Okay, what is it doing? I think we lost him as well, though. But what are they hiding? Wait, wait, you think poppies? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> God damn it, dude. Poppy, get out of there. <laughs> get out of there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. We found the door. No, no, no. Let's get down there again. So how did we walk there? Okay, let's see what we can do. We know he's gonna be here behind scare. us. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jump scare! I'm gonna catch you. No, no, no. You're not. You're not. You can't run or hide. Watch me, dude. Watch me. So he actually comes after us. That's crazy. You can't run. Or yes, 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 yes. I can, I can, I can, I can. Okay, that actually is terrifying. I don't like that at all. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Oh, it might just been randomized then, hey? Eh? Oh, shit, so that actually got us out here. So I think what happened, maybe we triggered something with going to that grave when he said boom? I don't know. So he actually, he's out to kill us. I thought he was just a prankster. This is way darker than I thought it would be. Damn. Poppy, what you doing? Where are you at? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got something right here. What, what's this? Just a fountain? I was just really ready for him to jump up on me right there. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got the bag, the key, and the, a note. Vis to visitor. So you made it into the graveyard. Want to know how many overnightly visitors I've been buried? Uh, I buried here. To your left is a man named Jesse. Who names their kid Jesse, anyways? I think I did the world a favor on that one. To your right is a lady named Rebecca. She really liked to scream, which made it easy to find her. Women always scream so much. Silly ladies. Men on the other hand, some cower like women, others try to man up and take and take me on. Those types I enjoy killing the most. It's easy to kill if you can't touch me, but I can touch you. After I kill you, you want to know what I'm going to do? Odds are I will take your limbs and put them in fun, hard to reach places for the church staff to discover. I love seeing the hairy leg nun lose her Christ crackers until she finds a severed head in the toilet. Lol. Hey, ghosts gotta have some fun sometimes, right? You're a murderer. Poppy. Okay, do we have everything? Okay, I think we should go back, but I feel like he's gonna he's gonna do something more. It's not done yet. Ah! Oh, oh, that's him, that's him. Dude, I'm already, I'm still, uh, <laughs> I'm still sweating from what he did down in the crypt, dude. Seriously, man. Poppy, you gotta calm down. It's so close. It's gonna show up, isn't he? It's gonna show up. Stop, 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 so close, so close. Open it, open it, get out, get out. Run to your car. Oh, he's here, he's here, he's so tall. <laughs> All right, it seems like we made it. We escaped tall puppy and uh, yeah, it gave me a few laughters.
So if you guys want to support this dev or this dev team rather, I'm going to put a link to where you can go and buy the game if you want to try it out yourself. With that said, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And also, while we are still on topic of horror games, I want to ask you, The Blair Witch Project, is that a game that you would like to see me do a playthrough of? If so, I would do a full-length video of me playing through the whole game, which I think is about 6 hours long. Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you like what I do here with the content, the videos, leave a like, leave a comment, and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much once again for watching. Now be safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.